Hello everybody, <clears throat> AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Idol Awakening. So today we are going to 10 star our Kirito. Um, just in case you guys are wondering, technically I can 11 star Asuna, which would be nice, but... I can get more Asuna shards, which I do have already, so I'm actually very close to getting her one star anyway. And I'm very close to also um, getting a four star Levi. <coughs> ah, sorry, I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. Um, so now I can do that to Asuna soon anyway, so... Instead of just saving this copy of Asuna, and she doesn't shut up. I wish you could turn off voices, because that's so fucking annoying. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to eat her up, because um, our, our user has fodder. That was the wrong word choice. I'm going to use her as fodder, because um, I already have a copy of her, and I can get more from um, the board maze. So I'm just going to go ahead and 10 star my Kirito. Um, it's going to not show that I can do that. Yes, select. And there's Hien. And 10 star Kirito, everybody. <clears throat> We're finally a full 10 star team. And I don't know if I can upgrade them all the way. But I sure as hell can try. <laughs> okay. Yeah, everybody, there's a 10 star Kirito. You get tarot cards too. Yeah. I mean, not the best 10 star Kirito out there, but hey, it works. Um, What do I have equipped on him anyway? And resist. Is there a better one? No, no, that's good. Accuracy for his bleed and um, physical damage resist. Yeah, that's fine. I forgot that I had. had this. All right, well, that's awesome, guys. Oh, and I can, yeah, I forgot about this. Um, I technically have four to give up. I don't want to give up my Akuma though, because eventually I'm going to upgrade Akuma, even though I'm probably not going to use him a lot, but he's still decent on a bleed team, so I'll wait for that. Um, Yeah, this is cool. So now I'm at 3 million power, guys. Um, the other part of the video I want to do is Guild Boss, because it's only two hours long, so this description is complete ass and stupid. Oh no, it, it's a two hour one, sorry. Guild Wars, the stupid one, because it starts like at 8 o'clock for me in the morning. But I can't do it today, obviously, because it's Thursday. Um, I can do the boss, though, I'll show you that. Or Reverse Battle, or Reverse Hollow, whatever it's called. Um, it says it lasts eight hours. Complete BS. Uh, <laughs> that's a lie. Um, not the boss, but um, the uh, w which I was looking at right now. The um, let me just show you. So Guild War. Guild War lasts eight hours. That's not true. Not true whatsoever. Um, yeah, BS. All right, um, so now we have 10 star Kirito. Actually, before we do that, I'm just gonna. Okay, I don't wanna spend too much. And yeah, okay, well that, that'll cost diamonds. Um, should I can upgrade you? So close. It costs so much gold in these late game stages. You guys saw I had 21 million 
that's not even close to enough. Um, yeah, so let's do guild boss real quick, and then we'll do the um, reverse battle or the actual boss. This is weird. Guild boss is different. Um, we're probably not going to get anything, but we got um, <clears throat> oh, it resets every single time. Well, that sucks. What's the point of that? And uh, obviously, we're going to go with healing. Um, so yeah, my team does pretty good. I got 44 million last time. Can I skip? No, I can't skip this. Um, and I was using just a four-star Kirito that time, so. Actually, put this up a little bit. Okay, we're at 1 million already. 1.5. So, I can see why this guild boss is pretty much useless for most people. You don't really get anything good from it unless you're at the top. So that's why I say the soul pets are basically impossible to get except late game. Because they kind of are. I need the extra healing for sure. Oh, that was an amazing dodge. By Sunade, obviously. I have a lot of crit on my Kirito. I just don't understand why you're not critting. Oh, that's fine. Asuna and uh, Suna, they, or Mikasa and Asuna got me covered. Oh, there you go. Finally critting. Does he um? Does he turn off crit? I really hate all strategies that do that, but it is pretty easy to get crit in this game. So. <laughs> okay, we're at. 60 million which we were not at before but we have one turn so we probably won't be able to get it yeah because it's our last turn right oh we might be able to get to 6 mil okay yeah we'll get to 6 mil or oh yeah we will oh we got to 7 mil 8 mil. Okay. Um, we got decent stuff, but... um, And we got gold. That's probably the best. Um, quick rush. Oh, we got one of those. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did a lot of damage. So, 45 mil. I mean, yeah, kind of stupid how it doesn't stack. Um, they should have it every week. It resets. Just your damage, obviously. Like, it can last two hours. I'm okay with that. Yeah, so um, getting these are pretty much impossible unless you're all the way at the top. Um, we did get some stuff. So I'm gonna just use it. <clears throat> um, probably nothing good. Yeah, just sunglasses. Really just a hundred percent pay to win <laughs> late game. Um, yeah, that's all I have for that. Stupid hiccups. All right, we're good. Um, okay, so now I want to show you guys. Oh yeah, the reverse battle, right? All right. Wait, it's available Saturday as well. I thought it was just Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, that's good to know. Um. So yeah, we're just going to quick rush because we already did, or I guess we can just do the battle. Oh, right, because I got my Kirito up, that's right. And you can't really skip it. She does have 50 plus damage resist, which is really annoying. 
I don't think the boss had that before. So that sucks that they added that. It's fine because I get the guaranteed crit with Asuna anyway. And, um. Yeah, that's probably like the best part about Asuna in this, this boss battle. And uh, Mikasa just dodging Kurumi's attack casually. So nice. So we got one mil. See how much damage we can do. Yeah, I just woke up and was like, oh, I'm going to miss this, so I have to record. I thought that Kurubi was giving us a crit down effect, but, um, no, it's just, um, hmm. I don't like that heal on Kirito. Mikasa should have been healed. She does, like, technically heal, but... And they can't be revived, but that doesn't really matter because my team stays alive anyway through the entire battle. And I never get the crit on Kurumi except for at the end, which is kind of bullshit. Come on. Stay alive. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're fine. Okay, we, we're at 5 mil right now, but we should be able to get 6 mil. That's what we were able to get to last time. It's just Saber <clears throat> and her really strong powers. Or her counterattack. I really like her uh, invisible edge, whatever it's called. Uh, we're not going to last completely through um, unless so we're just going to quick rush it so how much damage do I have um, 6 mil I mean that's not bad but um, I didn't go on Tuesday so I'm assuming it adds up for that um, so maybe actually I would have 12 mil so I would be a little bit higher on the... Oh, no, I have 27 mil. Okay. <laughs> oh, team damage. Highest damage. Yeah, okay. So just double that. So I would have 50... 64. Which would actually put me in second place. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, I think it's this thing. Oh, it's just their story. Okay, well, that was a reverse battle, technically the boss battle, and a guild boss battle. So, it's all I really have to show you. I mean, yes, my Kirito is 5-star, but doesn't matter. I do have to show you guys Bond. Um, I forgot to mention this in my everything, how to upgrade your battle power in every way from beginner to um late game go watch that video if you want basically explain every way you can upgrade your battle power consistently throughout you know just grinding um and if you check in every day it adds up and um yeah it increases your power this is one way of doing it too i forgot to mention this maybe i did but i don't think i went into depth um so yeah you get diamonds from um, these characters. So if you go to info. You get bond levels with each character. And eventually you get this crystal ball. Um, and it's for the specific hero. But it also gives you bond and charm. Which is part of um, 
just grinding and then eventually you can get this which does the exact same thing um so yeah very interesting um i don't know if anyone wants to show me their bond or tell me their bond um but yeah that's pretty much it i go to level four because it it's a pretty long grind to get to level five um for each character and pushing it beyond that would take probably months <laughs> just to fully max out one character and i didn't really see it as a benefit because it's faster just to go up to level four which is what i'm doing with every character um for now but yeah and it's interesting because each character keeps their star level even after you've eaten them and you keep the character even after you've used them as fodder I have to stop say eaten. That's uh not a good term when there are females here. <laughs> it's gonna yeah no don't don't uh, take that the wrong way guys. Fodder. I meant fodder, as in sacrificing to make other heroes stronger. Um. Don't really have anything else to show you guys. Guess I can upgrade you. Um, he has all level 3s now, so. It deals 20% more bleed, 20% more damage to true, wait. Equip both swords, 20% more chance, oh, to trigger bleed effects, okay. And deals 15% more damage when bleed effects are triggered. Don't really understand how that works. Well, I guess when he triggers the heavy bleeding. Which is as soon as he attacks. Um, yeah, interesting. Interesting. And I like the um, heavy bleeding because you can't purge that. 80% chance is a lot too. <laughs> and then adding two levels of bleed just passively, that's nice. Um, I'm not going to upgrade his, his gate right now. Sorry, his exclusive upgrade. Because his level 4 is really good. Honestly, that would be awesome because I wouldn't have to put absorb on him. And he would just heal a lot more. So it would round out my team a little bit more. But <clears throat> what I really want is level 4 on Tsunade. So I get that 10% more crit on the flame shield. So my characters can crit even more. Um, but what I'm going to go for first is this level 3 on Asuna because she'll just make all AoE characters, which is a lot of them, um, most of them, take bleed um which is very good because I haven't been able to consistently get bleed on the entire team. It's probably the best way to do it because there's a lot of AoE attacks and Asuna is usually in the front and sorry, mid technically. Uh, she's a mid target, but there's a lot of um, heroes that attack mid targets and front targets in general. So she'll just be causing bleed everywhere, which is very good. Um, and it doesn't seem like there's a chance. It just seems like you get bleed um, but they can resist it, I do believe. But yeah, you just cause them bleed. So good. And then she does extra physical damage, which is good for her second active and uh, gaining, getting more health back when you do that guaranteed crit on the bleed. So just really good overall um, for my team. So I'm going to do that first, and then I'll do Sunade, and then I'll go to Kirito. Um... Do you have more attack than 85k? No, you have more attack. Um, Yeah, you're just not high level. Okay, that's good to know. Because Magic Gift added one more unit. So <clears throat> she purges all debuffs for four friendly units with the highest attack. And then gives an extra attack, um, 
which was happening on her because she was stronger than Kirito, but now Kirito's strong enough to get the buff, so that's good. Because uh, I don't want to be buffing a character that does not really attack. <laughs> um, dang it, I really spend all my diamonds on this uh this time. Um, we're gonna do it. Oh no, that was the draw. We got the he in. That's right. Uh, never mind. We're going to go to Infinite Tower and just test them out. We were having challenges, so and Kirito actually died a few times. Oh yeah, and now we're getting this uh, message. We weren't getting that before. Actually, I was having to do every battle like manually like this. And um, we're going to be facing Mikoto, so I can't promise anything. Because this game apparently hates crit strategies. <laughs> yeah, so there was the extra crit. As you saw, it was also added on to um, Kirito. Oh, that's bullshit. Literally have so much dodge on her. Yeah, kill this whore. Wait, what? You didn't get the crit? He's bleeding. Oh, it's probably the seal. Yeah, stupid Mikoto. I'm so happy she died. Literally the worst goddamn character in the game. For all early players. Because it literally just shuts off all strategies. <laughs> Like I said, hard counter to my team. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter when uh, you have enough damage, but as you saw, we almost lost our Asuna because stupidity. <laughs> okay, this is a. Uh, of course. Of course the goddamn game has to give me Mikoto every single stupid time. Come on, um my um Purge all debuffs, hopefully. Well when she heals, obviously. No seal, no seal oh. Did I get seal? Oh my Jesus fucking Christ. Literally the devs just trying to prevent progress. So stupid. Of course it doesn't land on everybody. But it literally lands on the most important goddamn character on my team. Kill that Mikoto. Literally murder this bitch. Does not deserve to be in this game. <laughs> Not with her passive. Literally just breaks half of the strategies. <laughs> At least Seishimaru is like... Yeah, he heals. But a lot of characters do that. Mikoto is literally just... Satoru Gojo? No, no, no. No seal. Okay, we're good there. Oh, no. Of course. Well, we still got healed. What was that? So now they obviously got... um. See, it only stops when there's goddamn Mikoto. Literally, because it knows. This is three battles, so this is obviously rigged. Literally, the devs being assholes. <laughs> they just want to make more money so they're preventing progress hard counters to your team that's all you'll face so stupid so stupid <clears throat> yep and then there's a seal it's literally a small chance but it's weird because my heroes are still healing I don't know how that works. Really? I'm uh I'm confused, guys. What? Let me guess. We're gonna face Mikoto again in like three battles. 
So, I mean, Kirito's a lot stronger, obviously. I mean, uh, of course. So, no Mikoto here. This is actually a strong dark team, so we'll see. Hopefully, the Hades does not target my Kirito when he does his second active. Because that one does a lot, shit ton of damage. <laughs> Okay, we got the crit. Oh, went after my Tsunade. Okay, he only got one attack off, so that's fine. No stun? Yeah, obviously. They're not gonna give me the stun. Like, ever. Well, you got it on Hades, really? Why did that show up so late? Doesn't really matter because he already released both of his actives, so now it's just basic attacks. Okay. Mikasa is taking a decent amount of damage, but she is the front target. She does have 10 stacks, so she's gonna destroy this team right here. <coughs> Basically, we just need Mikasa alive, and she'll completely destroy the enemy team. Yep, yep. Go ahead and attack us. Just watch us. Just watch us destroy your team. And then there's the heal, and yeah, heal the right person, which was definitely Sunade. Okay, now we just have to take care of this annoying Ormura, which was probably the worst of our problems. That Hades was doing good damage, but um, and so is that Arthras. But it was really Ormura healing everybody. Um, we should be fine here, but Rem is gonna revive, which might suck. But we should be able to sweep this pretty much. Okay, no stun. No stun. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Uh, two healers should not be allowed. Literally so stupid. Oh my Jesus. No, oh, and my um, <sighs> Asuna is just stopped. It's kind of stupid how that works, but okay. Why did Rem not use her um? Oh, did she heal someone instead of? Who did she heal? Because she's supposed to revive somebody on her ultimate. <laughs> Enemy team, obviously. Okay, there we go. Oh, nope. That was the crit. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, the reason why this is also a good team against us is Tanjiro. Rem. And, um... <clears throat> Jotaro, because he stuns and uh, crits against warriors. Which is really... Oh, okay, well... <laughs> Thank you. Mikasa. <laughs> okay. Um, well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, this is AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. 69 subscribers and going strong last time I checked. So, you know, golden number. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Keep going. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Just gonna see what we get. Yeah, no. Fodder. Um, we did get another Beerus, so hopefully we can upgrade our Beerus, because we do have the six-star Beerus. Anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.